And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cheap Ludes, and I'm here today to talk about Triple Threat Offline. Specifically Triple Threat Offline and in regards to XP. And the reason I'm talking about it specifically is just because um, I personally have had a lot of people ask me and a lot of people talk about TTO this year being like, almost unbearable to play especially early on but now still it's a little bit boring but there is a lot of xp to be had in tto and as you can see i'm up at 31 and honestly i haven't even really been trying that hard i still need 104,000 xp which now that i look at it that seems like a lot and uh i don't know what they're going to do for the last couple weeks i'm guessing we're going to get some like three four x K XP challenges and stuff like that because we don't have like the legacy ones that we had in the first place so I have 105 wins out of a total of 150 but building the perfect triple threat team obviously keep in mind which um, challenges you're going to be doing and stuff like that but ideally you want to keep it around the overall that I have it um, typically around like one ruby one emerald or sapphire and then if you need to use a diamond a diamond or an amethyst now the reason for this is just because the CPU is a little bit overpowered and they will match you up with like a pretty comparable team. Most of the time 2K will basically tell you to go fuck yourself and put a little slightly bit better team than you have out there. And not only will it be slightly better, it will be pretty similar to your team too. A lot of the times 2K will just put the player that you have out there, which is my personal favorite thing that they do. <laughs> but... The reason I even made this video in the first place is because TTO is going to be super important going forward along with Domination, which is why I'll have a Domination video. So 2K saw my lack of shooting, decided to put out a team out there that's almost completely shooting, so that's going to be fun. Um, but as you can see, the overalls pretty even. Like, instead of putting a ruby, they just put another amethyst out there. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Now, the thing about TTO is the 2K CPU will not miss if they're wide open. Doesn't matter. Get out of here. Whatever. That, that's going to happen. Um, if you can test them in any way, shape, or form, they will miss for the most part. Um, well, at least they'll miss at a higher clip. So, one of the challenges I have to do here is get layups with Oscar Robertson. The reason why I included him in this video specifically was because getting layups with him is actually pretty difficult because he has a high driving dunk. And when you're playing against a CPU, a lot of the times, oh, okay, yeah, all right. A lot of the times you'll blow right past him. Um, like I have Mitch Richmond on me, he doesn't have clamps. I could easily blow right past him. The idea is to keep him on me just long enough so I can get layups. Um, attacking very, very close to the basket or you could even start your animation earlier, like early. Once you learn Oscar Robertson's like animation pattern, you can actually tell like where you have to start your button if you're either using the button or if you're using the actual thumb. You can kind of tell where you need to start it so that animation becomes a layup as opposed to a dunk. If you're too wide open, it's going to be a dunk every single time. So. As you can see, I'm setting screens up here. The reason for that is because I have a challenge to get points in the paint for Dino, but that's not really why we're doing it. JJ Redick obviously has a challenge for threes, but you could supplant anyone like Duncan Robinson, Brent Berry, all those guys with three-point challenges. Um, the CPU is broken. The idea is just to get that little screen, get that separation, chuck that three, and if you have a guy who needs rebounds, wait for him to get down in the paint before you shoot the three. That way he goes down there and gets the ball. Um, the idea is just to kind of cheese. Like, for whatever reason, Oscar Robertson's coming up here to set the pick right now, so I'm going to go over here and get Dino to do it. Um, the pick and roll mechanics are still super broken and not addressed because they did just drop a 22-gig patch, but fuck if 2k is going to go through and fix something as simple as uh pick and rolls but they went through and uh changed rafe lafrance's face priorities i guess i don't know they did update some player likenesses um the only person i've noticed so far is rafe lafrance but as you can see if you have someone like dino in this type scenario you should be good um i was using daryl dawkins earlier to get his rebound challenges done pretty easy just kind of chucked it up when he was down at the end of the floor there as you can see oscar robertson will go up and get a lot of layups if you position them in the right place one way to do so is to attack from the bottom of the basket though you are 
liable to get blocked quite a bit doing that but it is a surefire way to get layups and to be honest with you it's a super annoying challenge like i just don't understand why it has to be layups like why get some points in the paint here for dino easy peasy we got a big size advantage there so no worries at all um jj reddick's pretty solid uh defensively look you're playing against the cpu play off ball defense like <laughs> I get it, you know, there's like the whole 2K badge of honor thing, you know, you don't want to play off-ball defense or whatever. That's cool, I get that. Um, I still play off-ball defense, not hard off-ball, but a variation of off-ball and on-ball while I'm playing online, but I get a lot of people are trained not to play off-ball defense because it's frowned upon in the 2K community. Look, the 2K computer is not going to rat you out to the people you play with. Just play off-ball defense, literally, let them handle it. Let the CPU duke it out with the CPU and just paint it with, like, Dino Raja. <laughs> it's going to make your life so much easier. As you saw there, Danny Green just swatted the shit out of the ball. That's what I'm kind of talking about when you attack too low on the basket. It happens. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but it is still a surefire way to go. That pull-up three every single time, you're almost going to make it. Um, especially with someone like J.J. Redick. Who, he doesn't even have range. It's just triple threats. So he can shoot from a little deeper than normal. Get those challenges out of the way through triple threat. You can grind your wins and stuff like that, too. The reward cards in TTO are really, really good. Um, and you get a significant amount of them as well. Um, in addition to getting, like, the regular reward cards, um, like Victor Oladipo, JaVel McGee, Isaiah Ryder, people like that, as you go up the board and get a certain amount of wins, you also get some additional bonus guys like Roy Hibbert, Katino Mobley. Wait, no, Katino Mobley's online. Sharif Abdurrahim. And they also have more XP challenges as well. So, Triple Threat right now is the best mode to play as far as XP grinding. Just because there's so much XP to be had. Um, yeah, you could always do Domination as well, but there's not really that many Domination challenges. So, that's kind of why I made this video in general, just to keep at it with TTO. Uh, you need to get up to that Victor Oladipo slot by the end of the season because the rewards next year or next year next season are going to be really really good i think um the tto rewards this year have actually been really good so getting up there and getting ready for next season is almost imperative i have a huge 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 deficit to climb out of um but like i said you know use tto to get stuff done like challenges with random players like joe ingles like are you ever going to use joe ingles in a unlimited game or something no um get all these done as well um your Halloween player, if you got any of these guys, you know, get some of those done in TTO. All the reward market ones that you can possibly do. Five layups with Emerald, Avery, Bradley. Just make sure everyone on your team is in Emerald so you get the lowest overall squad possible. That way you can attack the rim a lot easier. Um, Scott Pollard, obviously you could just kind of get a bunch of rebounds by shooting a bunch of threes. So Daniel Gibson, he actually has a really money jump shot. You can just do little crossover threes all day. Um, Danny Manning has one, 500 XP for rebounds. Just make sure he's the biggest guy on your team, and he'll get a shit ton of rebounds. Easy. Um, there's random weak challenges that have to do with triple threat. Um, just win five triple threat games. Pretty cool. Um, get four rebounds with Rocket players. If you want to make sure that happens, just make sure your entire lineup is Rockets players. You'll get four rebounds. It's not player, it's players. So just make sure they're all in there. Five dunks with any Celtics player. Unfortunately, the Celtics don't have a lot of guys who dunk. Uh, if you need a cheap option for that, go grab Xavier McDaniel. Um, he's only about 800 MT, and he dunks pretty hard. He's from the Possessed set. So, Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out the podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, especially subscribe. Help your boy out. Jump on the Patreon. Jump on the Twitch. I'll be back with new content.